Hello, in this tutorial we will create a preloader for our application and we will do it by only using puzzles. So, let's start right away. First, let's go to the init tab, which is our first tab. Here we need to grab this puzzle. It will track the preloader and later will help us to set it up. But first we need this puzzle to override the default preloader, which already exists in the application. And now instead of the old preloader, we only see blank screen. So first let's create a background for our new preloader. Let's add a div element and call it preloader background. And let's set its style. We will be setting up the style directly on the element. And let's place here the puzzle with style properties. The position will be absolute, the color white, and both height and width 100%. Thus, this background will take all the place of the application on the screen. Now, if we reload, we will see a blank white screen instead of 3D elements, plus some of our elements on top of it. Now that won't do, so we will need to add another parameter. This is the index parameter. And let's set it to 10. We need to do it so our backgrounds will be on top of all the elements of the application. It doesn't have to be exactly 10, we just need something bigger than most of our elements. And most of our elements have z-index 1. Some special elements may have even bigger z-index, but 10 will work perfectly. Now let's add another element, which will be the container for our preloader. And let's call it preloader container. It will contain the image for the preloader and also the percentage of loading progress. Next, we will need to set the style for it. Let's just copy this style. And instead of the preloader background, let's type in preloader container. Then we will need to add a text field here. And we will need to type in preloader background, so the preloader container will be a part of preloader background. And as we have already set Z index for the preloader background and it is set pretty high to 10, both of these elements will be in the front. Background's color will be transparent. The width will be 200 pixels and height 240 pixels. A little bit bigger because we need some place for the percentage. Next, let's center it vertically and horizontally. So first, let's set the parameters left and margin left. Left will be set to 50% and margin left to minus 100 pixels. These settings will center our new element horizontally. To distinguish it, let's temporarily set its color to red. And here we go, it is centered horizontally. Next, let's center it vertically. For that, we will need two more parameters. First will be top. And second, margin top. Top will be set to 50%. So the element will be centered vertically. And then let's shift it by minus 120 pixels or half of the height. Now our new container is perfectly centered. Alright, let's make it transparent again. And we will create a classical minimalistic preloader when first we will have black and white picture and then, with time, it will become 
colorful. So let's create another element and call it logo BW or black and white. Then we will add it inside of the preloader container element. Let's also add here sets property style. And then the puzzle with properties for the black and white logo. The position will be absolute. Also let's delete background's color, we don't need it. Width will be 100%. Height will be 200 pixels, the same as the height of the container, so the picture will be square shaped. We will align it to tab, so let's add another property, tab. And here let's set 0 pixels, so it will align to the top of our container. Next, let's add the image using the background image parameter for the backgrounds of our element. And then I will just type in the path to the image. It is placed in media and is called logo black and white. That PNG. Let's save, reload and check how it looks. Aha, now we have an image, but it is too big for our container, because the image was made with high resolution screens in mind. And so, to scale our image to the container size, let's add a parameter background size and type in here contain. So the background will be fully contained inside the borders of our element. Let's reload and check. And here we go, now we can see the whole image. It is a black and white image of the cabinet. Then let's add the color version of this image, which will be the indication of the loading process. Let's add another element and call it logo color. And we will be adding it inside of the black and white image element. Let's also set its style. The properties puzzle. And here goes the element's ID, logo color. The position will be absolute. We can also delete background's color as we have an image instead of it. The width will be 100% and height 0%. So at the beginning of the application this image will not be visible, its height will be 0%. During the loading process it will change from 0 to 100%, so we will see loading progress. Alright, let's set other properties, let's add bottom and set it to 0 pixels, so the cover picture will be aligned to the bottom of the black and white image. So when its height will change, it will rise up from the bottom to the top. And of course we need to type in the name of the picture itself into the background image parameter. It is also in media folder and is called logo color. For background size, we will type in the borders of our element. We will not type in contain, because if we do this, it will also look at the height and will change image size when the height changes and we don't want it. Instead, we want it to be always the same size. It is the element that will be changing its height, but the image will always remain the same, without any size changes. 
The next parameter that we need is background position. Let's type in here bottom, so the image will always be aligned to the bottom of the element. So when the height of the element will change, it will kind of rise from the bottom, replacing the black and white image. Alright, now we are almost ready. Let's grab this puzzle, place it here, and here inside of the on progress do slot, we will be changing the height of our element from 0 to 100%. For that, we will need the parameter set style. And here let's select height. So we will be changing the height of the elements logo color. Also, we will need the puzzle percentage, which will give us the percentage value of the loading progress. Also here we will need the elements create text. We will need it to add the percentage symbol at the end, because the percentage puzzle gives only raw numeric values from 0 to 100 and doesn't add the percentage symbol at the end. So let's add a simple text puzzle here and just type in percent. Let's save and see how everything works. And here we go. The cover image is slowly rising from the bottom of the element, changing and overwriting the black and white image. And when loading is finished, its height is 100% and it replaces black and white image fully. Now let's add some text, which will tell us the percentage of the loading progress. Let's add a new element and call it percentage. And we will add it into the elements preloader container, which we previously created. And next, let's set up its style. Position will be absolute, and background color again don't need it. It will be transparent by default. The width will be 100%, so it will take the whole size of the container. Also, let's type our element's ID here. Next, the height, it will be 40 pixels. So the preloader container height is 240 pixels, the image height is 200 pixels, and last 40 pixels will be the text. Next, we will need to set the alignments of our new element. And it will be aligned to the bottom side, so I will type in bottom and set 0 pixels. Now we need to set up font size. Let's set it to 35 pixels, so the text will be pretty big. Next, let's align our text, and we will align it to Sincer. Also, we need to set the font for the text. So, let's add font family property, and type in Oswald. Now we need to add changing percentage, changing values. Let's add the puzzle sets property and we will change inner HTML parameter. So let's copy this setup because it already has the percentage count and we will be doing it for the element percentage. Let's save and reload and here it is. The loading process is shown in percents. And now we have only one thing left to do. We need to hide the preloader after the loading is finished. For that we will also need the puzzle set style. 
and we will be changing the parameter display or the visibility of the element. And the elements will be preloader background, which we will be hiding after the loading is finished. So let's set the parameter display to none. Let's save and check. And here we go. After the loading is finished, preloader disappears. Alright, that is all. Thank you for your attention.